Chris Bryant and the Smokies taking on the Mississippi Braves at Smokies Park on Sunday afternoon. Bryant here before the game receiving his Player of the Week award plaques from the Smokies, all three of them for the first tap. Corey Black started for Tennessee in Sunday's Father's Day finale, and in the first, Black would allow one hit, but he struck out the side. And then in the bottom of the first, the Smokies would bring across a run to take the early lead. And the pitch. Swing, line drive, base hit left field. Bruno's going to get the wave. Here comes the throw from Hunter, and he airmails it. The catcher runs out from behind home plate towards first as Bruno scores. Silva was 3 for 6 in the game. Smokies up 1-0 after 1. The Braves answer right back, though, in their half of the second and tied the game with a run. They threatened to add one more, but Black got out of it with help from Jae Hoon Ha in center, and then he helped himself by striking out Gustavo Nunez to end the inning. Black stayed in through the third, but that was it for him. He struck out Cedric Hunter in his final inning and finished with five strikeouts over three. He also allowed just two hits in one unearned run while returning from the disabled list. Game tied one to one through three until the Smokies took the lead again in the fourth. Ha led off the inning with an infield single and after two quick outs, Anthony G and Santi delivered in the clutch for the Smokies. As many hits, I think, in the last couple of weeks as he did over the first to almost third of the season. Here he swings and sends a, a line drive into the gap in right center. It's down for a base hit. Ha scores. Giancenti with an RBI single here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 2-1 to one Smokies. Giancenti was 3-6 for six while batting out of the leadoff spot for the third time in the series. Smokies up 2-1 after four, and it would stay that way as Zach Cates in the bullpen kept the Braves in check. Cates pitched two scoreless innings and struck out two. He left after the six, and that's when things took a turn for the worse for Tennessee. Reliever Pedro Figueroa now into pitch, and the Braves would not only tie the game, but they would go on to take the lead. Figueroa got some help here on this play from Bruno, but overall, Figueroa would allow five runs on five hits in the inning. The final two were brought in on this single from Mississippi's Matt Kennelly. That off Lendy Castillo. Castillo inherited two of Figueroa's runners before he left the game. So Mississippi up 6-2 after 7, and it would stay that way until the 9th, and that's when things got crazy. The inning started with a flyout from Elliott Soto, but continued with the single to left from Giancanti and another hit from Bruno. Bruno's single moved Giancanti to third, and Bryant would bring him home with the sacrifice fly. Now two outs in the inning, and after a walk by Dustin Geiger, Silva drove in Bruno with a single to left. Brandon Cunniff started the ninth for the Braves and would leave after walking Taylor Davis here. That to load the bases for Haw. Smokies now down 6-4 to four in the Braves. They go to the bullpen. Out went Cunniff, and in came John Cornerly. Cornerly got out in front of Haw, and then this happened. Here's the 1-2. Swing, nub, back to the mound, grabbed by Cornerly. Throws the first, he threw it away! He threw it away! Geiger scores, Silva scores, here comes Davis. He gets the late stop sign. The ball game's tied at six. The air allowed two more runs to score, and the Smokies tied the game 6-6. Six to six. Soto ended the inning with a flyout, and the game moved into extras. Armando Rivero pitched the scoreless 10th and 11th and kept the Braves in check while the Smokies geared up for their half of the 11th inning. With reliever Ryan Harper on the mound, the Smokies started the 11th inning with a single to center, and then with one out in the inning and Davis at second, the Smokies would get the clutch hit they had been waiting for. And feel the double play depth. Davis at second base, the game's winning run. Haas at first, here's the pitch. Swing, ground ball, right field, base hit. Davis is going to get the way. Here comes Mitchell. His throw to the plate. Kennelly can't get it. Davis scores, and Soto wins it with a walk-off single. And for the first time all year, the Smokies come from behind. What a dramatic Sunday at the yard. The final score, 7-6. What do you say? He kept it on the ground, and he got it by Nunez. And it took the entire half. It took the entire half. But they came trailing into the bottom of the ninth inning. They were 0-25 when losing after eight. And they stunned the Braves with four in the ninth inning, and they won it with one in the 11th. How about that? It's incredible. All right, folks, we're down here on the field tonight with uh, our player of the game, of course, none other than Elliot Soto, who just had the game-winning hit. Take us through the at-bat. What happened? <laughs> they, they threw it at Greg. <laughs> oh, man, they were going for both of us that time. It's good moves. All right, all right. Take us through the at-bat. What happened? Just looking for a good pitch. 
Try not to do too much with it. Hey, uh, Steven Bruno pulled you aside right before you went out there when you were on the on-deck circle. What did he tell you? Just, just exactly what I just said. Dude. Yeah. Just get a good pitch, do your thing. Of course, it's a good way to end the first half right in front of a good crowd here today on Father's Day. You get the big hit. Got to be feeling good, right? Oh, it's awesome. You know, get some good feeling going into the break. Soto with the game winner. The Smokies won the game in comeback fashion 7-6 to six at Smokies Park. Rivero earned the win after striking out three and allowing just one hit over the final two innings. He's now 2-1 and one and finished the first half with a 1.56 ERA. The Smokies closed the first half at 33 and 36 and won their series with the Braves three games to two.